What are we doing today, Jack? It's finally time for a vacation. We're going to Calgary and checking out Banff National Park. And in anticipation for our trip, I'm going to prep the house, prep some sandwiches, and get on our way. But first, some iced coffee. Have you guys ever tried Cafe de Oya? This is a Mexican-style coffee brewed in a special clay pot and served with lots of cinnamon. This is the instant version. There was just a little bit left at the bottom. I decided to use the jar to make an iced coffee. And I'm also prepping tofu for my famous lemongrass tofu banh mi sandwiches. The tofu have been marinating overnight. I have two types of tofu, chewy and firm. I've also grated and pickled some carrots for the sandwiches, and we're also adding vegan ham and vegan chicken. This stuff is so good. The marinade makes everything taste so delicious. You will not miss the meat when you try my version of a vegan banh mi. The marinade has lemongrass, chilies, onion, green onion, ginger, garlic, oil, salt. I mean, what else could you ask for? I've also prepped some serranos and cucumbers for the sandwiches. Both, of course, are from my backyard. We're going to bake the tofu in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and make sure to flip halfway through. When the chewy tofu comes out of the oven, it is big, brown, and puffy and so delicious. Here the sandwiches are ready to go. I'm just going to wrap it in saran wrap and then throw it in a bag and we'll be ready to go. And it just so happens to be lunchtime, so I'm trying out one of my creations. The lemongrass marinade along with the mayo, the pickled carrots, the cucumbers, the spicy peppers, everything is so good. The flavors melt so well together. I'm packing about eight of them for my friends as we're all traveling together today and I think they're going to love it. We're falling on my way. We're going to my sister's house first, picking up everyone else and then we'll drive to IAH together. We get to my sister's a little early so I decide to get in some aerobics while I'm waiting for my friends. And nothing quite like a sparkling water after a nice workout. In retrospect, I should not have drank all that water because on the way to the airport, I needed to pee so badly. Here's everyone from Houston ready to go. It's so hot in Houston. We are all in lots of clothes because it's going to be very cold in Canada and we're ready for some cool weather. The shuttle taking us to the airport, uh, the AC definitely was not working and we were all sweating and most of us had layers of clothes on. We finally make it to the gate, we buy some fries, we're eating the sandwiches, we're eating Chick-fil-A, we are eating lots of snacks before we head onto the plane for a four hour flight. And yes, this is my second bomb of the day and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now I'm snacking on some cucumbers from my backyard, it's so crispy, it's so crunchy, so delicious. And we're finally off. I'm napping, I look up and I see my friends eating a second dinner and I mean honestly, so happy for them. I think one of my friends that day for lunch had two bowls of rice with a bunch of stir-fry veggies and seafood, then two spring rolls for an afternoon snack, then a banh mi, a chicken wrap, a chicken sandwich, and some fries, and a matcha latte, and honestly, pretty amazing. We finally land four hours later. It's about 10 p.m. It's still slightly bright outside, and we're taking the shuttle to the hotel. That's all for day one of our travel vlog. Stay tuned to see what else we are up to during this trip. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye!